What's up, addicts? In this video, we're going to be breaking down the New York Guardians and St. Louis Battlehawks game in week three, going over all the players that we would start or sit for fantasy in this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for XFL content daily, and let's get started. All right, guys, so we are breaking down the New York Guardians and St. Louis Battlehawks game. Uh, over under in this one is the lowest on the week. It's at 40.5, so not too much lower than the other games, but still definitely down there. And the Battlehawks in front of their sold out crowd in St. Louis are favored to win by 10 and a half points, and they still might cover. Um, it's a very interesting situation over there in New York right now after what we saw last week. Uh, I'm not banking on a rebound uh, overall, but let's go through each player here and just kind of talk about who we start and sit in this one. Now, as we normally do, we'll start with the away team looking at the Guardians, man. Matt McGloin's meltdown hurt around the world has really shook my confidence in this team, which is unfortunate because I think they have a lot of talent. Uh, Hopefully, he'll be able to get it together and rebound this week. I think that would calm a lot of the waters right now, but the storms are raging. Uh, I'm really hoping that Kevin Gilbride can reign in this mess using his NFL experience there. Uh, but from a fantasy perspective, I'm holding off trying to uh, stay away from this offense pretty much entirely this week. Uh, running back side, Darius Victor left early with a concussion last week, but it looks like he's going to play again this week. Uh, still will likely be a split between him and uh, Tim Cook. Probably not going to start either of those guys, though, because they could quickly get boat raced in this game. Um, on the wide receiver side, I still really love Mikael McKay. He looks great out there. He just needs targets, and hopefully he finally gets to make a splash in the end zone this week. But I'm not trusting anyone else until we get this quarterback situation figured out. Uh, on the tight end side, pretty much the same thing. Jake Powell laid a turd last week, as did the entire New York Guardians offense. He got the first catch on the day and then just disappeared for the rest of the game. He still... Uh, rated you know decently high just because the tight ends are really terrible in this league but it's really hard to trust uh, Jake Powell and then EJ Bibbs got two targets towards the end of the game when Marquise Williams came on board so definitely another name to look at there but probably avoid starting these guys if you can and then on the defensive side New York still has one of the better secondaries and and uh, has the best pass rusher in the league but it really won't matter much if the defense is on the field 75% of the time. Uh, Jordan Tiamu is also looking to be making a running for the MVP, so that, I think that definitely depresses New York's value this week on the road. Uh, not a must bench from a defensive perspective, but just a team that is, if you're able to start like St. Louis on the other side, can be better off. All right, jumping over to the Battle Hawks. Now, Philip Walker has been getting all the hype, but honestly, Jordan Tiamu has been every bit as impressive to me. Um, he has the ability to give you even more of a fantasy floor than Walker just because he runs the ball a bit more than Walker does. Uh, he is playing against the ball hawking defense uh, team that has had an interception every week thus far, uh, so he might end up throwing another pick or two, but I think his floor is high enough to keep him near the top of the uh, fantasy slate this week. The other thing that's depressing is value is just the Battle Hawks might not need to score a lot of points. Um, Matt Jones on the running back side has looked fantastic and unfortunately he is dealing with a knee injury right now. Um, until he left the game last week, he was pretty much the bell cow back. Hopefully he doesn't have any more restrictions going into this game. He was limited all week. It looks like he's probable to play, but um, it definitely is concerning if, if he continues to re-aggravate that knee. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, Christian Michael had a few good plays, but for the most part still looked pretty bad. Um, and then Keith Ford is back this week as well. So I'm pretty much only starting Matt Jones as long as he is active. Okay, on the wide receiver side, it's gonna be really hard uh, to recommend benching any of the big three wide receivers here between Washington, Russell, and Des Moines Pearson L. I think Pearson L is the cream of the crop. He's definitely looked phenomenal out there. Uh, LaDamian Washington is actually dealing with a, uh, I believe an ankle injury right now. And he did not practice on Thursday. Um, we don't have any official word as to whether or not that's going to impact his game status, but make sure you have a backup plan in place if you're looking to start Washington this week. Russell would be a fantastic play if Washington went down, uh, but overall, I think that Washington and Russell are going to trade back and forth. I think Washington is the better player, but uh, look for Russell to have uh, a bunch of fantasy games that you'd rather have him than Washington. So. Uh, makes it easy for us if Washington doesn't play who to start. Otherwise, I'd be comfortable with starting either, just not expecting nearly as much of the ceiling this week. 
On the tight end side, Marcus Lucas also laid a turd last week, but I'll definitely bank on more of a bounce back if you need a tight end option. He got a bunch of targets in week one. Look for that to uh, look for that trend to bounce back in week three. And then on the defensive side, other than Houston, there's no defense I like better this week than the St. Louis Battlehawks. New York is on thin, thin ice, and this is a sold-out crowd in front of uh, in St. Louis. It's going to be legit. Fire up your Hawks! All right. Um, so I pretty much alluded to the fact that I'm just very shaken on uh, New York right now. I, I think the Battle Hawks cover this one. I think they win this game pretty easily, but hopefully Matt McGloin can calm down and make a few deep passes in this one that will le at least keep this game interesting. Anyway, hit me up in the comment section below if you guys have any questions. Uh, also check out my website, fantasyaddictionnetwork.com. I've got stats, weekly rankings, trade advice, everything you need to manage a fantasy league. And thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button for more XFL content, and I'll see you in the next video.